get up, get out, and get something. Don't let the days of your life pass by. You need to get up, get out, and get something. Don't spend all your time trying to be the founder of what's of the struggle. What's of the struggle. And today we're gonna be discussing do boot camps and programs like Beyond Skin Straight that you see on TV episodes. Do they actually work? So what do you feel about those type of programs? I think those programs are good to a to a certain point, man. But when you're trying to scare scare a kid beyond scared straight, no, that absolutely does not work. Because if you take a true troubled kid that's living in a harsh environment, all he knows is survival. All he knows right now is fighting because he thinks that if I fight, that's how I'm going to get what I want. Now you take this kid and take him to a Beyond Scared Straight program, and these people are gonna be hollering at him, spitting in their face, you know what I'm saying, just really just trying to degrade them, and that's ultimate disrespect to a young brother, man. So when you put them in, in that program, yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're, it's, they're gonna be afraid for that moment. But ultimately, they're gonna feel disrespected. And you take any young brother from the hood, if he feel disrespected, what are they gonna do? He's gonna retaliate. So you, the person that's trying to put him into that Beyond Scare Straight program, he's going to rebel against what you're really trying to do. All right? Because you think about it like this. Think about putting put, put a cat or a rat into a, and back up into a wall. What are they going to do? They're going to fight their way out eventually. All right? Even though they're not even mentally ready to fight their way out, but they're going to fight their way out eventually. So you take these kids from the Beyond Scare Straight programs, they work for that day, whatever. They go back into their environment to where the place they stay, their neighborhoods and whatever. I promise you, they're gonna rebel and they're gonna get their minds ready for what it takes to survive to survive these programs, these boot camp, and get their mind ready for prison. Because at an early age, I say around 15, 16, in my neighborhood, we was always talking about I wonder how prison would be. And a lot of us, a lot of us wasn't ready to go to prison. I don't think no one is ready to go to prison, but your mentality is, I wonder how it's gonna be. So now, if my mama had put me in a Beyond Scared Straight program, okay, now I got a taste of it. Now I got to go back home and get myself ready because I just seen how it's gonna be. So no, I'm not, a, I'm not a, uh, I don't agree with Beyond Scared Straight programs. I think those programs give you good insight, maybe, but uh, I don't think they're good to turn a kid life around. Not a, tr not a kid that's really, really living in a struggle, man. That's really, that's really troubled. That's really, all he know is survive. All he know is go get it. It's not going to work for that kid, man. You got a kid that's just trying to fit in with his buddies. Hey, man, I'm going to put you in this Beyond Scared Straight program, show you what you're going to end up getting yourself into. Yeah, it might work on him. But you, you're talking about kids that's, that really don't even know when their next meal coming, that's really fighting, that's out here really getting it so they can feed their family. It ain't going to work for them, man. It's not going to work. So what about military programs? Kind of like putting them in the military, see how it feels. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I guess uh, military programs is uh, is different because a mili military and prison beyond scared straight programs are two different things, man. Because uh, a military program, you, you're giving them some structure in their life. You're not you're not trying to beat them down. You're not trying to hinder them. You know you're trying to you know show them, hey, this is what it, this is what it takes. For us to gain freedom from other from other allies and other countries and things like that, so I think military programs probably work to a certain extent. But again, I wouldn't put a true troubled kid in these programs because right now their mind is only on one thing, and that's surviving, keeping their image, keeping their popularity, being tough. If you take them out of their environment and go put them into these other environments, they're going to come back home. And they're gonna just rebel against everything that just happened. So, like I said, any type of program where someone is yelling at a kid, whether it's military based or beyond scared straight, they still yelling at kids, they still putting they still a kid's gonna still feel disrespected. So no, I do not agree with those programs. Military program is kinda of up in the air because you know, military is still giving you some positive things into your life, but it's, it's, it's a hard decision to make, man, when you're working with those type of kids. 
So what type of things do you think would work? Uh, help those type of kids. Help those type of kids. A lot of things I think that'll work, man, is letting them see brothers that look just like them coming from their environment, sharing stories, sharing their passion with them, and really showing them, hey, this is what I went through. I understand what you're going through, young brother, and I understand that a lot of times you feel alone, you feel scared, you feel like it's just you against the whole world. I get it. These are the mistakes I made. This is what I focused on. When I was, when I was focused like this, great things began to happen. When I lost my focus, I started focusing on the streets. I started trying to prove my name in the streets, and then this is what happened. Because you're not, you're not going to be thinking the same way that you were thinking at 16, at 26. So try to, I try to get these young brothers to understand, hey, learn from what I messed up doing. Because you can't make all the mistakes yourself. Learn from someone else's mistakes along the way. Now, like I said, man, if you really want to help these kids, man, get into their life. Get in their life. Stay in their life. Hold them accountable. When, they, when things start going wrong, don't bash them. Don't bash them. Don't... Um, don't ridicule them, don't talk about them, don't be mean to them. And most importantly, don't leave them. Stay with them, hold them accountable, but let them know that they got endless support and unconditional love from you. Because you don't know what they going through at home, man. They, you could be the only positive thing they got going on. They may even go to school, but a lot of times teachers not positive. They're not positive, so we, as men need to get in, as black men need to get into these young brothers' lives and show them that hey, I love you, I support you, I'm with you. So if you really want to make an effective change in their life, get in their life, stay in their life, and hold these young brothers accountable for the decisions that they're doing. And when they start doing good, just like you, just like a, like you give a little baby, praise, them, praise. Them. Take them out to eat, get them out, get them out the neighborhood, get them out of the neighborhood for a little while. Show them something different. Show them a, a, a nice restaurant. Show them how to how to clean up and, and go somewhere and just have a good time. You know, because a lot of times these brothers they get off the bus, they just go home, go outside, play basketball to nightfall, to get ready to go to school, do, do it all over again, uh, just do it all over again the next day. So we gotta just take them out of their element into a positive element, say, not into no scared straight program now it's no boot camp take them to a, take them to a park you know if, if you if you leave a mind that's developing in a negative environment constantly that's the life he's going to adapt to exactly so that's pretty much it man get them around other kids as well they need to socialize oh yeah definitely it's a big part of but the right kids yeah, uh, a lot of times, man, you know, these a lot of kids, man, they glorify uh, the music they listen to, gang bangers, drug dealing, uh, they glorify that stuff, man. So getting them socially active with other kids that's doing the right things is pretty much it's pretty much a great thing. And that's why you have a Voices of the Struggle Brotherhood organization because a lot of these kids can be around other kids that's growing up like them, but also so they so they brother can hold them accountable for the decision that they make it. When brothers like me, when their leaders are not around. When we're not around, they can still have another brother that's holding them accountable. Because you cannot achieve the success by yourself. So you have to have kids that are around them that's doing other positive things. Exactly, exactly. And how can we find this organization? How can we get involved with it? Especially brothers like me and you that's been through struggle, come from a small town, Broken Where? home, yeah, broken home. Man, you you can uh, get in, get involved in this program uh, through btcmentoring.com. BTC stands for Break the Chain, Break the Chain Mentoring. So btcmentoring.com. Hit the contact button, reach out to me. I'll get in contact with you, and I promise we'll schedule a meeting and we'll work it out. And you can find me at. RKTJ Digital Media. I have my own website. I do video photography and everything. I'm the official videographer for What's the Struggle. And tell me about any events you got coming up. Oh man, we got an attend. Uh, well, I did my first big event back in April. We gave out free haircuts and food to uh, young kids in the community. 
We have another big event coming up July 22nd from 9 to 3 at Warnersville Baseball Field. We're hosting a football camp and it will be led by the Aggie football team. Uh, we're going to try to get a lot of the athletes that are still playing to come out there. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of athletes that have went on and graduated. Some played at the next level, and some are just living awesome lives in their career. And we're going to have, on August 27th, the day before school starts back in Gifford County, we're giving out free haircuts, school supplies, and book bags. So please come out, Warnersville Rec. But, but uh, follow the hashtag VOTS. Keep up with the events. Um, my name on uh, Instagram is Bearded for the Struggle. Bearded for the Struggle. Uh, Facebook is uh, Willie L. Pettiford Senior. Follow me on Facebook, but most, but don't forget the website vtcmentoring.com. I will post the um, the events that's upcoming, and you, and I'm pretty sure if you're in Gifford County, you will see me at some point because I'm all around passing out flyers and letting kids know what it's all about. You need to get up, get out, and get something. How will you make it if you never even?